up guys, DK, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Advance, Game Boy Advance for the second part of the game known as The World of Ruin. Kefka is almighty god now in all the shenanigans. He has completely destroyed the entire planet. Alright, our first goal is to find our friends. In all honesty, you only need to find two of them to complete the game. You have to find Edgar and you have to find um, Sester. The rest of them are completely optional and up to you. However, why would you only do this with three characters? Well, I guess if you want to challenge yourself, yeah, but, you know. Okay, I don't think there's any reason to go into that town. The only reason why you would go in there is uh, if you want to buy a Giga's Glove, but I already got two of them, so I really, I really don't need to go in here. Let's just get a move on. Where's the fuck? Okay. It's hard to see this map. Anyway, ah. Uh... Uh, this is the actual LP. I did a practice run of this, so I know exactly how I'm going to do this. Uh, this is where things are going to get just a little interesting. I can kill these guys right now if I want to, but Celis is indeed one of my main party members. And I do not want her to level up too much yet. I mean, even though I do have the, uh, let me see, East Biz. I didn't put East Biz I do have the Bismarck, which is a plus two in strength, so I, I guess I can level her up, but I'd rather wait until I get the um, until I get the cat car, which is, unfortunately for those of you who are playing along, cat car is a, a Game Boy Advance exclusive. So if you got the places of resin or Super Nintendo resin, you're out of luck, sorry. Alright, Wolfie. Anyway, continuing, that little tower we saw a minute ago, that is Kefka's tower, I believe. Uh, but unfortunately, we cannot go in there until we get the airship, which is why you have to get Sester. And you can't reach Sester until you, uh, until you go to um, Figaro Castle, which is why you have to get Edgar. Everybody else is, uh, is uh, completely optional. So you only need to get two other people to um, complete the main game. And it's not like it's impossible because once you get the airship, you can um, go to the Dino Forest and over level, which I will indeed be doing. Once again, guys, uh, as I said, from now on, I'm going to play my play my uh, my LPs the way I normally play the game. So once I get the airship and I get all my party members, I am going to over level, and my main party my main party will be at level 99. After after I find after I find uh, all my characters. Uh, my main party will be at level 99 very shortly after that. I can assure you. If you don't like it, then too bad. Am I even going the right way? No, I'm not. But convenient, there's a chocobo house here. So let's just go ahead and uh, buy one, I guess. Or rent it, rather. This chocobo stay with my life. I'm not going to stop being trouble just because it was falling to pieces. Thank you. Do 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 I'm not going the right way. Do 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 do. Where's the fucking town? Where is the fucking town? Here it is. Okay. Thank you. Goodness gracious. All right. This is where we want to be. But first, just in case the horrible happens. We are going to save our game. Ah, I'm going the wrong way down. I'm supposed to go down to up. Fefnir. That name sounds familiar, doesn't it? For those of you who played uh, Tim b b before playing this one. Die, dragon thingy. Speaking of dragons, uh, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, dragon slaying to do in the second half of the game. Which is uh, completely optional, but very, very crucial in the game. But advanced version, I was playing while later on. 
This doesn't matter until you get to the um, until you get to the post game stuff. All right, where's the relic shop? Well, I don't need to go in there now. Uh, there's our buddy Saban, but we'll deal with him later. I'm looking for the relic shop. Does this town have a relic shop in a way? Please help him. I'm begging you. Fuck you. Oh, well, I guess I'll go ahead and do this. Uh, Saban. Oh, Salas. Let me help you. Wait. Uh, if I move, the whole house will collapse. First, you gotta save the kid who's inside. I don't think I can hold it much longer. You gotta go up. Hurry, hurry. Uh, you're on time, unfortunately. I think what this does is, if you don't, if you don't successfully pass this for some reason, uh, you lose um, Saban as a party member for the rest of the game. He'll probably like die or something. I don't know. Where's the fucking what? Bigger? There you go. Got to put this on to reduce it, to reduce uh, enemy encounters. This, of course, definitely helps. Uh, speaking of which, someone told me that I missed a, uh, a accessory that completely annihilates random encounters, which is really, really good. But uh, there's an unfortunate catch to it. Only Mog can uh, wear it, which is a uh, very, very unfortunate because I don't plan on using him. And these goddamn fucking scorpions, they are so annoying for two reasons. One, they cause doom on you, as you can see. And two, they have this bad habit of attacking like two or three times in one turn. Only thing they're doing is eating up your time. And see, this shit was designed to be annoying. Their magic defense is really, really, really high. If you do a level two element spell, you, you might not kill them. It's, it's, just, it's just annoying. I mean, why are these time sequences always so annoying? There's... There's always something annoying about the time sequences. Uh, on the floating island, you can't run from those fights, and you only fight that one monster. This time, you fight three scorpions who cause doom on you, and they and they and they they attack you they attack you so damn fast, and like three or four times. I must have a boss forgot about this. I mean, it's it's just why are the escape sequences so so difficult? Don't worry, about these assholes here just uh, one fire rock spell on all of them. You should be out of this mess. Burn in hell. Yeah, that's all I need. Just, just, just one good fire rock spell, and they're going. I forgot the reason for doing that. I, I forgot if you get an item or something. There's another one of these uh, night night crawler boxes in here somewhere. I think it's this one. No, that's that's a blood sword. Uh, I probably I probably like really use that. I know what it does, but oh well. These damn things again. See, let me show you. I'm. Nah, I, I I don't have time because uh because of the, that uh that doom status so fuck that, but yeah th those things got some really high magic defense. It's just it's just aggravating. So I get that I got these smoke bombs, but I do need to kill them at least one time so I can get them in the beast area. I mean I, I don't know why I, I I don't care about the beast area so. And I've already encountered them, so they will be on the veil. So if they got something really good to steal, I can always steal it. And I'm just not realizing I'm getting ready to die here. I, I need to pay a little more attention to my health. Stop talking so much, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's uh, heal your wounds, because uh, another hit like that, and you're going to be out. There we go. That's more like it. Continuing, here's the kid that, uh, that you want to save. Well, it's not that simple. We got the kid, and we and Silas somehow magically hit hit the kid inside our clothes, and now we gotta go all the way back back out the hallway. There's a magic type shot. Okay, that was almost death there because I was trying out that that magic shot, but I summoned Phoenix, and I need I need to die. And I've only got two minutes left, so I'm gonna say fuck it. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, since I encountered those guys, I can fight them on the veil. If I really, 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 really want to get them in the um, in the beastinary and steal something that I fight, I, I, I fight him on the veil. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna kill one of you. I, I, I'm gonna get one of you, son of bitches. All of these damn stingers. I'm gonna get one of you. I'm getting one of you, son of bitches. But see that? They got very high magic defense. I guess I can win this fight. I got time to kill him. I got time to kill him. I'm gonna win one of these. 
Now, I think there's another Mustang account here, but it's kind of real. I've never seen it. According to the guy that I'm reading, <laughs> there's another uh, Mustang account down here, but it's all good. All right, I got them seven bitches. Let's get out of here before we get another member counter. Took you long enough. And we're out of that mess. That wasn't too difficult, was it? Saban, you're alive. Of course I am. Did you think a little thing like the end of the world was gonna be the, was gonna do me in or something? <laughs> I had given up hope. I thought everyone else had died, but I was wrong. I'm sure we're not the only ones. We need to find everyone and then. Smash, kept with the pieces and deliver peace to the world and stuff like that. All right, baby, count me in. So at this point, your goal is clearly obvious. Find all your party members. Then after you find your party members, go give Kefka what he deserves. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do for Savon is, uh, since I'm going to be without my, uh, my main team for a while, I'm gonna turn him into a emergency healer for a while. I'm gonna give him give him this uh, Easter, so he can, so he can uh, quickly learn raise, cure, cure, raw, region, and all the shenanigans. You never know when that stuff will come in handy. Because unfortunately, at this point in the game, this is where things get this is where things start to get tough. Like I said, this is a very uh, for the most part, this is a very easy final phase of the game, but it's not hard to find yourself completely under level at certain points and get your ass handed to you. Perfect example is uh, the the um, the Dino Force. If I go to the Dino Force right now, I'm just, I'm I'm just gonna get just utterly destroyed in in mere, in mere seconds. Really, just it just won't even, it won't even be funny. There's something I'm interested in. Uh, there's a new item in the shop called the the Super Ball. What the fuck is this? Super Ball. Okay. Uh, bounces around the battlefield when thrown. Deals damage to all enemies. Is this this is probably a one shot deal, isn't it? Let me check this thing out and actually I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna just just hold on to that and see what it does. If it turns out to be something really really good, then I'll come back and buy some more. But I didn't even know that item actually existed in this game until now. Okay, with this out of the way, let's continue on our quest to find our long lost friends scattered throughout the entire planet and all the shenanigans. Anyway, this is the main reason why you want to go ahead and get some bond because because uh, with sales by herself things are quite ugly. But now she got some help, and he is. And I'll admit, Saban is a Saban is a where the fuck am I going? I'm not going the right way. Saban is a powerhouse. It's just that he, I don't use him on my main team. But don't let that fool you. Saban Saban is a total powerhouse. It's just that I use it's just that anyone anyone who's, who's watched my past LPs or anybody who has watched my videos since 2006 yes I've been on YouTube that long you know how Dark Kepler does things right he uses female characters only that's, that's, that's just the way I do things unless I'm forced to use male characters like I am now uh, the one assassin is a lock because lock is a he, he's a thief and you practically need a thief in this game and which is also one of the reasons why I use Shadow. So I normally use Terra, Celis, Realm, and then uh, my fourth part member is either Lock or Shadow, depending on my situation. If I just want to steal, 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 it'll be it'll be Lock. If I want to fight, it's always Shadow. But I might do this LP just a little different. Don't know yet. What I mean is, um, uh, for those of you who've been uh, su uh, subscribed to me since uh, 2006, you might have seen one of my my classic videos, the um, the Dragon's Den. When I, I I did the whole Dragon's Den with with only five characters, Terra was solo, Locke was with the uh, Sellers, and Rim was with, uh, with Shallow, uh, Shadow. I'm thinking about um, doing that same thing, but this time I'm I'm gonna use just just all three girls. It'll be a it'll be a terror solo, a sellish a sellish solo, 
and a uh, Realm Solo. But that just might be a little too hard. I might try it anyway. Because I'm going to have God characters at the end of the game. Die! Ah, uh, oh, I forgot that they got high uh, physical defense. Punch your hand slap. And die. Speaking of uh, hunt your hand slap, am I going the right way? This way, I think. No, I'm not going the right way then. As I was saying, speaking of uh, hunt your hand slap, I'm well aware of um, Saban's new new uh, list moves, like the spinning power job, for example. And I fucked it up them. I was never good at doing the um, the spinning power driver. <laughs> Let's try that again. Spinning power driver. Fuck! I missed it again. Maybe I don't have it yet. Maybe he learns it at a uh, different level. Alright, let's try uh, Yoga Flame instead. Okay, there's a Yoga Flame. Yo, wait, 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 and stuff. Yeah, okay. All right, now die, you bull thingy. Okay, maybe I haven't learned the spinning power job yet. Let me see. No, I haven't learned it yet. I forgot how he learns. I don't know if he learns it at a certain level or if he learns it story-wise. I don't know. It's all good. It's not like I'm using it anyway. Alright, so, continuing to the random encounters. Continuing to the north! A lot of random encounters already. Am I gonna make it to this town without random encounters? Hell no. Oh, fuck. That's annoying as fuck. I can't stand that. What's worse is the fact that it stays active even after the battle ends. Ah! After the battle ends, I forgot those goddamn plants have uh, pretty high magic defense. As a trade off, the hit points really suck. Just pretty much any regular attack will kill them. Unless, unless it's a magic attack, because their magic attack just makes it high. That's going to be a mark. Die! You too. Die! Thank you, that. Okay, that was a uh, aggravating battle, but we came out alive, which uh, only thing that counts. I got turned to imp fucking little vampire plant things. Let me put these potions to use, cause they're just taking up space my inventory. Put them to use. Put them to use. I used all four of the potions, and I'm still not in full health. That sucks. Anyway, where's the next town? Uh. Oh, I, I'm I'm not even there yet. I still got a long walk. I forgot, it's a, it's a long walk up here. Hate these fucking things! And their high defense and their stupid stats effects. Hit points suck, but they're just annoying. Continuing up. Up, 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 up into the sand. This is a lot of walking, man. But you see why you want to get Saban first? Because Cell is... Black Dragon, Celeste will definitely have a uh, have have a hard time out here if you don't if you don't get uh or if you don't get Saban. Go back to hell, Black Dragon. I'm gonna make sure that I buy a lot, and I mean a lot of those for the Dragon's Den, because there's a certain monster. In, well, it's it's the same species as that monster that I want to kill immediately. Fuck. All right, and we finally, finally made it to the next town. Damn, took me forever to get here. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of walking. Anyway, you have to do this one. Hey, aren't you, you the returners, right? Me too. I thought everyone else had been wiped out. I don't know if there's anything I can do for you, but I heard there's something you might be interested to know. Apparently, four Eastmans escaped from the Meditate Research Facility not too long ago. For you guys snuck in there, 
There's no way of knowing that they're still alive, but if you go find them, I bet they'll lend you their power and all that shenanigans. Moving on. We can buy some pretty kick-ass stuff. But there's only one thing that I'm really concerned about right now. Well, actually, there's two of them. First thing I'm going to do is get two of these. Enhancer, because this, this, this enhances your magic power. And like I said, it may not seem like it's a big difference, but in this game, f uh, what's that, five? In this game, five, five, ten magic points is a huge, a huge difference. It is a big difference when you attack with magic, that thing. These are going to be Celsius' main weapons for a while. And there's a certain accessory I want to get my hands on, and to get it, you got to move out the way. Get out of my way. Thank you. Anyway, you gotta talk to this little kid. This is actually the relic shop. There's no kind of clue there. You just gotta talk to him. The Seth, the the Sephi cloak, whatever the fuck that says. I'm gonna get about three of these for now. It seems totally useless, but I can assure you, later on in the game, when you combine this thing with with other items, it is extremely, 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 completely. Insanely broken, and for those of you who watched my uh, my Dragon's Den video that I made about five or six years ago, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. This thing is completely cheap when you use it right. And if you don't know why, don't worry. You will see at the end of this LP because the uh, anything in here, no, the Dragon's Den will be the very last thing that we do in this LP. Now I remember I'm supposed to be talking to a a, a woman or something like that, or am I in the right town to do that? Oh, that's not till I get Edgar. I remember, I remember. I'm, 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 all, I'm all mixed up right now because I'm talking too fucking much. Let's go back to the south, back to the place where we met Shadow to fight the, um, well, not fight the Empire, to, to join the Empire. We gotta, I can't do this yet! I gotta go to the pub. Go in the pub first. Talk to these guys. Well, you gotta talk to this guy here. Uh, talk to him. We're gonna go to the castle through a secret cave that nobody else knows about. Maybe you gotta talk to all these guys together. Some freak shans the dungeon end up right next to the sandstone next to the stop there. I cut open the wall so we call through the run, follow the run time hit that surface. These are the guys who were in jail in the um in the uh, uh fire gold castle. At the uh, at the sandstone hit they escaped. You have to talk to all, you have to talk to all, like, all of them to, to trigger the event. Don't bother going down there in there because you can't do anything. You got to go up here. And hey, it's Edgar. What's your problem? Aren't you Edgar? Okay, you're just going to sit there. Actually, you just have to move out the way. And he will start walking down toward them. What's your problem? Aren't you Edgar? Okay, he's ignoring me for some reason. Edgar? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll take this too, kid. Okay, what's his problem? That's that's obviously Edgar. Why is he completely walking away from us? Look, I'm kind of busy here. I have to get ready. We're leaving for a figure of very soon and stuff. Don't play dumb with me, Edgar. Did you lose your memory or something? Listen, it grieves me to have a disappointed such a beautiful lady, but I've been jealous since the day I was born. I never met anyone else who flirted with a lady he was trying to shake, shake off his tail. Being plenty ladies is a common curse to the whole world and stuff. Okay. Well, we obviously know that that's Edgar. He's acting funny for whatever reason. I guess we'll find out why that is later on. Anyway, let's continue. We just have to uh, do nothing and sell so I'll make you jump on the boat by herself. You know, but you figure castle quite well, correct? Ho ho ho, do we ever? Then lead the way. As I said, these are the bestest who um, who snuck out of Figaro Castle because uh, they're thieves and they were locked up. They're gonna go back to the castle and reclaim what's rightfully theirs, the treasure that they stole in the first place. I don't know, but they're basically gonna sneak back to the castle that they broke out of to steal some treasure. Oh well. Oh, 
All right, we are here. Let's go, 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 go up, go up, go up the steps, go up, go up the fucking steps. Thank you. Okay. Okay. What we have to do now is just simply go inside the not the pub, not the pub. I'm not going the right way. We have to go to the inn if I can remember how to get there. Here we go. The inn and the rest shop I wanted one. Go up here and. Where the fuck is he? Move! Bitch! Get out the way! Uh, let's see. Uh, how did I get in the pub? Oh, oh, I, 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 I remember, I remember. He's, he's actually... He's actually in the inn, not the inn. He, he's actually in the room where he sleeps. I remember now. I got to actually go in the room. So you rented a room and I could just walk in here anytime I want to. Okay, that's very nice. Just wait, I'm on my way to help. You follow me here? You're Edgar, aren't you? Boss, everything's ready. Let's go. Case of misidentity, my dear. Give it up already. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go. Let's go back out. Alright, go out. Go out! Damn, laggy game controller. Anyway, after you talk to Gerald, Gerard, or whatever his name is, wh whoever he's claiming to be in this version, you just simply uh, leave the town after that. Which is uh, this way, I think. No, not that way. Here we go. Oh, right, so now we gotta go into the where the fuck. Oh, that's right. It's uh, it's this way, this way, this way. There it is. You gotta go into this little cave thing right here. Let's save the game before going in there. Fortunately, the monsters here aren't tough with memory serves me. It's dangerous to be on here. I'll go ahead and clear out those nasty wild vile monsters. You just wait here, okay? Uh, no, thank you. That was their, uh, their last boss, I believe. Oh, look, those are thieves. Massacre. I hate these damn things, man. I'm almost stop scratching! Damn, loud ass scratch pad. I mean, do it a come to. I don't need that right now. Alright, sticky goo. I think a, uh, I think a, a yoga flame will, in, in most cases, will get you out of this mess. Yoga! It kills all of them except for this, this neck hunter thingy here. I'll let Silas take care of him while, while he burns and went up to hell. Momo, stop! Alright, give me one second, guys. Let me put this scratch pad out in, in the hallway. Sorry about the interruption. Continuing inside the cave, we have a short little room with nothing in it. All right, now, and as I was saying, guys, remember at the beginning of the game when I, I didn't pick up all those treasure chests before? Uh, one of these things turns into a hero ring. I really don't use it that much, but I guess it is pretty good. Uh, I was told the to fuck. The second I take off the um, the ribbon, I get hit by all kinds of status effects, and I miss the yoga flank. And now she's doing runic. Status effects really suck major balls. You know what, guys? I never was good at doing the yoga flame input. The only time I can do that thing at will is when I'm using Chun Li. When I'm using Chun Li, I. I can do the half circle at will with, with no problem on either side, but any, any other kids I just can't do, and I just don't know why. Maybe Chen Li's a good uh, motivation for me. <laughs> a 
Okay, there it is. I learned a new Blitz command. That's what I'm talking about. So he learns it at a certain level. Looks like it. It looks like he learns it at level 30. So at level 30, Saban learns the spinning power driver. It was our saying. Remember early on in the game when I passed those uh, treasure chests? I uh, one of the, one of these things turned to a hero ring. And I think it's the one in here. Yeah, this one. This one becomes a hero ring if you wait to this point in the game to get it. Dante. I ain't with this thing, of course. Just one hundred head slap and one little sword attack, and he's dead. Good night. Anyway, as I say, you get the hero's ring. Pretty good item there. Neck Hunter. All right, let's give that spinning power job a test, shall we? Razor Gale. That's a. Uh, that's actually a a multi-hit move, but I think I think it's win. I think it's win based. You never know when something like that might be helpful. Continuing, now we've got the hero ring, let's get the hell out of here. We just want to go in this little cave here. There's our friends. Alright, what now? Here, boy, here's a little yummy food for you, you good little toidle. How about that, eh? Nice. Used to have a pet turtle myself. Is he like following them behind and stuff? Back attacks really suck balls! You know, I really wish they wouldn't make you go through so much stuff. Fuck. Damn, Toidle. Get over here, you Toidle. As I was saying, I really wish they wouldn't make you go through so much stuff to get Edgar back. We, 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 we gotta chase him here and chase him there, then go through here and go through there. Now, I don't remember if I picked that up or if they picked that up on their way here, but. Come on, let's hurry it up. I guess he's the one uh, getting all the chest chests out of these, out of these things. Dirty bastard. That guy's totally low. Gotcha, bitches! Really cool move there, but unfortunately, it's a uh, it's a spinning power driver motion, so yeah, that might be uh, kind of annoying. All right, we are back in the castle. Are you still with us? Just hold on a bit longer, okay? And uh, by the way, there are indeed uh, random encounters in here, unfortunately. All right, let's see. This doesn't appear to be helping, so let me just go ahead and take this shit off, put on something a little more useful, like. Uh, Right. Ribbon, for example. Fucking confusion. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. Anyway, let's continue. Ooh. Going up. And up. Uh, I can't go there yet. Damn, I forgot. I gotta go down here first. Apparently, something is stopping the ship from operating. All these guys can't breathe because uh, they've been stuck on the sand for so long. They're, they're about to die of uh, suffocation if we don't fix this uh, ship. Not ship, but castle. But you're not on the time limit, so don't worry. Spinning power driver! See, he was doing 1,000, now he's doing 1,300. So, those rings definitely help. Looks like the damage is increased by 30% or something. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but oh well. <clears throat> but anyway, in here now, I think this is where we want to go. But first, let's get this. Grab it right, get this, crystal helmet. This is why I didn't, in, in case you're wondering why I didn't buy anything early on, this is why, because, like I said, you, you can buy some really good stuff, but them shits cost a lot of, for, for this point in the game, it's, it's just too much money. A 
Alright, how I got this mess? Oh, yeah, just go this way, go down here. Uh, go in. Thank you. Give me this. Hi, either. Explosive. Nice. Go up. This is a save room, right? No. I thought there was a save room right somewhere. Fuck! Dante. Up here. Uh, up here. Oh, this right here. Royal Crown. What does that do again? This uh, it should be for for females only. Uh, no. Oh, uh, it's not very. It's for uh, you. Oh, uh, the crown that only won by those of royal blood. Okay. Now I'm wondering if this thing is just like Final Fantasy V. The only thing it said, it, it doesn't say anything about status effects. But I'm I'm wondering if this thing actually protects from status effects. Uh, a good example of Final Fantasy V is the. Uh, the rainbow dress. Everyone knows that the rainbow dress increases the um the rate that you do sword dance. But the game says nothing about confusion. The rainbow dress actually protects you from confusion. Which is something that Ribbon does not do in Final Fantasy V for some completely odd reason. Anyway, we're gonna put on that royal crown, and this is where we want to go. Fuck! Spitting power driver and all that shenanigans. Final atomic muscle. I missed one. Fuck. I die. Anyway, let's heal up before going in because I think this is where the boss fight is and I really need to stop doing Kira on the map. I need to do Kira instead of Kira. I say magic points and the, the overall outcome is the same. In here now, uh, this is the room. Uh, before going in, let me make sure I'm ready. Ribbon, not that it matters. Heals me, her sandals. I really need to... I wonder, I wonder if the heals ring stacks with some other items. I don't think it does. I'm more worried about his speed, really. So, as long as he keeps attacking, he'll be alright. Alright, we're going in. Vengeance room. One more chance to check your equipment. Alright, let's do this. So, this is the problem. Got his tentacles all wrapped up in the engine. Boss, what do we do? Our treasure's in the storeroom back there. I'll keep this thing busy. You guys get the treasure. But, boss, that's awfully dangerous. Aw, oh, they actually care about you. Just get moving. Edgar. What are you standing around for? Sell this? Give me a hand. Edgar, it is you. Of course it's you. Dirty lying bastard. Anyway, it's boss time with four ugly, nasty red tentacles. And we're not gonna fuck around with them. We're gonna. We, I'm gonna have Edgar attack all these things at once. I don't think that's what I want to use though. My uh, my bus since Steven uh, told me to use Flash. He told me that it's a um, it's a magic attack. It, it's 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 the magic version of uh, Crossbow. I guess it's only helpful against certain enemies. Woo! Look at that. Uh, these tentacles these tentacles are very very annoying. And you see why right there they have uh, Edgar tied up up there. Uh, but that's not what's annoying about them. What's annoying about them is uh, all of them, like, they're like, we to like one or two elements and they absorb the other element. And since there's four of them, sometimes it, it's hard to tell which one is which. But conveniently, none of them absorb wind, which is why I'm using this uh, this uh, Razor Gale thing with the uh, Edgar down, with the um, Saban down there. And they've all got about 4,000 HP. So just take one of them at a time like that. Spam your razor wind or whatever strongest move you got that's 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 be elemental and, and that's group attack and not elemental. And you be out this mess before you take too much annoying tentacle rate damage and stuff like that, of course. One down Tools Auto Crossbow 
This uh, blitz should get me out of it. Two down. Where's the girl? And that should be the end of it. Gotcha, bitches! That's why you want to get Saban. You don't have to get him, but I recommend you do. I think like you didn't know me. I heard Figaro had run into some kind of trouble. I wanted to help, but how was I supposed to get here with the castle stuck beneath the sand? Then I caught wind of a rumor that those guys had escaped from, from the dungeon. So you used them. Bingo! And obviously, I couldn't let them find out who I really was. The King of Figaro. Because they, because you just, because they just escaped out of your jail. You could have told us. I mean, yeah, there were many times where we were like by ourselves and, and those other guys weren't around. Uh-oh, we better hide. Uh, I could just keep their asses, can I? The boss? Boss! That must have, must have gotten him. Poor boss. It didn't even last as long as our last boss. <laughs> oh, well, let's go. I should care about you. You don't care if they take the treasure? I could care less about the treasure. Right now, we need to get Kefka and all the shenanigans. Those guys haven't done anything wrong. Not really. So, you'll come along? Let's go shake things up again. Yep, you have to get Edgar. You have to get Edgar. So, these bastards took all of the treasure. That's very, very unfortunate. Except for this one. Give me that. The Soul Sebri. Uh, how exactly does this shit work? Does this thing only attack your MP? Drains MP and may cast death for a straight enemy. Uh, for some odd reason, I don't know why this is, uh, for some reason in this game, when the monsters run out of magic points, they automatically die. Now, why that happens is a total mystery to me, but like I said, there is a certain monster in this game that can be killed only that way. That's the only way you can kill that monster, which is a, which is a really, a really dick move on Square's point. It's a good thing I read the guy before facing that monster. Alright, so there's still random encounters down here, unfortunately. And why didn't I put an Esper? Esper! Why did I keep saying Esper? Why didn't I put an Esper on uh, Edgar down there? Anyway, let's put some clothes on Edgar. Oh, he already has clothes. Okay. Uh, he's okay. Really. I don't feel like changing equipment right now. I ain't got time for that shit. All right. Just like I did for uh, Saban down here, we're going to take this Esper off, and I'm going to give you the golem. So I can stem it up and learn stop and protect, because stop is a really important spell for this game. Very, very important. And now I'm going to teach you all these kill abilities, just in case I need to do that. You never know, you never know when I need a machinist to use cure spells. Weird, I know, but it might save your life one day. It can't hurt it can't hurt it can't hurt to have it. Alright, the engine's working again. Let's top to the surface. And without further ado, let's go ahead and go. There's one more tool that you can buy here, the Deliberator, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Actually, you know what? That might not be a bad item to buy. But for now, let's go to where we're supposed to be going. I'll edit this out. I ain't got time for this stuff. Alright, we are here. As I was saying, guys, there's one more tool I want to buy. And you, you know something funny? I'm gonna skip this this uh, cutscene because it's kind of lengthy. I don't have time for it. Ah, uh, this place brings back memories and stuff. I'm gonna walk around for a bit. If you uh, do this at the beginning of the game, uh, they will say that it's been it's been ten years since then. If you do this now, they will still say it's been ten years, but it's actually been eleven years at this point in the game. Has anyone noticed that? And, uh, what the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? 
put Edgar in front, please. Thank you very much. So I can get a nice fifty percent discount. That's more like it. I have every other tool. Are these the only tools in the game, by the way? Is, is there like some super de duper ultimate tool that always does nine thousand or something? I don't know. And that's all I came here to buy. I would rest, but I don't feel like doing the um doing the bat story. I, let's just get let's just get the hell out of here. So I'll make it join you in a minute. There he goes. Hey, wait for me. I'm going too. Alright guys, there's one more part of me we're going to get before in this episode. As I was saying, there's one more part of me we're going to get before in this episode. First, let's go to this town. And I forgot where to go. I think I got to go to the, the pub or what's the item shop. This shop has pretty much the same thing as the other shops, but I don't need to buy this stuff. I mean, they can't hurt to have, but I'm not wasting my money. Cause I, I plan on buying lots of Fumashukins uh, real soon. Where the fuck is that guy? There he is. Hey, it's Sester. Sester? So you survived. Come with us. We're going after Kefka to put an end to this madness once and for all and then all the shenanigans. Hm. I just don't have the job to do, to do that kind of stuff anymore. What are you talking about? I'm a gambler. My world has always been a man where America is so free and stuff. Nothing more. I feel like wasting this world is crushing me. I just can't bear it. On top of that, I really lost my wings. You fought with your heart before the world was ruined. That couldn't have been easy either, but you seem just but you see in the bed just fine. That was then. All my dreams are gone now. If you need a dream to chase out there, then why'd you find a new one? Like taking back our world. <laughs> you know, maybe you're right, baby. You chase out there with you chase out there with me? My new dream? Arigato. I think it's time to pay a little visit to the uh, Dario's tomb. Okay, this uh, this uh, Dario person is actually a woman. So how do you pronounce that? She's waiting for us with a new pair of wings. You know, I find it funny that. Terra is the protagonist of this game, but the second half of the game, the main character seems to be Celis, because you start with Celis, and she's the one who started gathering all your party members and gathering them together. You should have started out with Terra, but Terra's taking care of little kids, stuff like that right now. Celis was the one who was um, stranded, and sh she found them one by one, and she gathered everybody together. So the second half of the game, uh, Celis is actually the main character, the second half of the game. It's kind of odd, but oh well. I like Celis. And that reminds me, a lot of you are asking me how come she wasn't in my top 10 or hottest Final Fantasy girls list. It's because we don't have any really good FMVs of her. That's why. There's only like one FMV scene of her, and she was wearing a big wedding dress thing, and you can't see her body. So I had no idea what her body looks like. That's why she's not on there. What the fuck did you do to yourself? Actually, guys, I need to go back into town because there's a sa. And as I was saying, I need to go back into town because there's something I forgot to do. It's gonna cost a little money, but it's definitely worth it. It's it's almost completely useless on the level that we're getting ready to go to, but it is pretty useful against one certain monster on this level. Not that I need it, but you know, let me get a couple of these. Viper darts. This thing is basically his version of the assassin arrows. It will occasionally uh, uh, instantly kill the kill the enemies that attacks. On the problem is uh, it's actually a it's actually a death like spell attack. 
What this means is, if it, if it, if you do that death thing on a undead monster, they will come back to life. Now, remember those uh, emblems I bought? Now is time to put these shits on. Put those goddamn emblems on right now. Put them on. Put them on. And Sailor's has a ribbon, of course, so she's fine. All right, let's continue. I'll meet you back where I was a minute ago. Anyway, we are back at the tomb. Go in the, go in the tomb. Thank you. You need him to enter the tomb, unfortunately, which is why you have to go get him. Of course, he's the only one who, he's the only one who, who can pilot the airship, so, and we can't fight Kepler without the airship. So, let's go inside, shall we? Alright, some really, 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 really good toys in this place. But also some really aggravated monsters, like this, for example. And this thing is naturally a undead monster. And like all undead monsters, if you toss a phoenix down, you all may kill it. But I need to save those, because those things cost a lot of money. This thing's made out of bones, so I'm going to assume he's with the fire. Die! That chainsaw will kill people with everything in one shot. Alright, let's see here. What was I supposed to do here again? What was I supposed to do? Go this way, I think, to get a few toys. Uh, that's a gravestone. Yeah, do that. Go up here. And... Ah! Alright, you see, you see that little plant thing right there? That, that fucking thing is aggravating. That's the air thing that is aggravating. Especially those my barrels. Chainsaw, that's the end of you. Die. You're dead. Gotcha, bitch. Fortunately, uh, these these uh, mouth barrels don't ambush you with a uh, bad breath on the first turn. Raise the water. And now, we're going to go back down here into this room. And we're going to get a uh, random account, of course. David Pollen. See that shit right there? You know what that is? That's a zombie attack. Zombie is extremely, extremely, extremely annoying. Everyone knows what, uh, what a zombie does. What it does is it turns into a zombie and your character will automatically attack continuously. But they might attack you. Not only that, but if your entire party is a zombie fight, it, fight, it's considered a game over since your whole, your whole party is zombies. I mean, your whole party is dead. And unfortunately, a remedy will not heal zombie. The only way to heal zombie is with the holy water. Which is why uh, every monster in, the, in this place drops holy water. But which is also why I put on these Emmy coins. Protects against uh, poison, darkness, and zombie. This thing about zombie. You need to put this shit on for this level. You need to. You don't have to, but it's aggravating because, uh, give me that, get, uh, get your helmet. Because, uh, after you heal the zombie status, they come back and critical hit points as if they were vile with the fence down. Then you gotta heal it. So you gotta waste your potions and your, and your uh, magic points. Just, 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 just so, so fucking annoying. I can't stand it. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I don't think I need to go here yet. Let me see. Actually, yes, I, I can't continue until I go down there first. On hand step under my barrel. Die. Chase off. And that's the end of you, my friend. Death to you. Stay there. I just remembered I can't do that until I do this. Jump on the toito. Actually, no, I can't do that until I do something else. I it's been totally been a while since I played this shit. Yeah, pretty much everything down here can turn into a zombie. It's really, really annoying when it happens. 
So I, I, why I do that? I highly recommend that you protect yourself from zombie down here. Otherwise, this is gonna be a very annoying sequence. Oh now, oh now, you wanna do it? That's an undead monster, you bastard. That I swear that always happens every time you attack an undead monster with your death moves. It always hits them, but it never hits the the normal enemies. So stressing. What the hell does that do? Don't worry, he's got back up. He can still attack. That's, that's actually the main reason why I put I put uh, Ifrit on uh, Sester because I knew I knew I, I was gonna buy those darts and most enemies down here are weak to fire, of course. I don't think I need to look at those. Let's continue. Okay, I had it mixed up. I have to go down here first. Go down! Thank you. I have to go down here first. Give me this uh, random encounter, of course. You know what I'm saying? Give me this uh, crystal mail. See, this is why I didn't buy other armor because I, I don't I don't need to buy I don't need to buy any more armor right now because you, you're gonna pick up some really good armor. Um, if you wanna know the truth, guys, I'm only at level 30. But I'm actually over level for this point in the game. You're, at this point, you're really supposed to be at level, like level 20 and stuff. So I'm, I'm actually over level. Give me that. Regen gown. Regen gown. All right, just gonna go here, go up there, and get this. You do not need to do all that puzzle shit to uh, to get that. The growth egg. You you don't need to look at those tombs or anything like that. It's already there. For those of you who didn't know that. All right, uh, let's see, fire rod, because uh, they're plants and the bones and the obstacle to fire. This is why I'm doing yoga flame. Yo, way, 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 way. They're still alive. Why? Now die, bitches! Thank you. All right, we got the growth egg. Now let's go up here. And uh, fucking my barrels. Take these goddamn things, man. There it is. Die. No, come back. Thank you. It's the death. Not that I need to do that, but it's always a nice ability to have. I wonder if it was in those um, dinosaurs in, in, in the Dino Force. Anyway, now I can go back up there. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Fuck! Okay, that must have actually dropped a amulet, so I guess you don't necessarily have to buy that. Okay, that must have actually dropped a amulet, so I guess you don't necessarily have to buy it. But still, it, it doesn't cost too much, and I, I, I rather already have it down here than trying to fight the monsters and get drop shit, so yeah. Anyway, jump back on the toy, I'll put the switch, raise the water. Okay. Now we jump on this toy, And we are almost out here, but first... There's a save point here. It's, yeah. As I was saying before the interruption, there's a save spot here. It's here for a reason. You might want to use this thing. Save the game. Open the treasure box. And monster in the box. Here we have ourselves. A, an a angler whip. I don't know what the fuck this thing's capable of doing. But I'm not going to chance it. This fight is very similar to the first fight that you fought at the beginning of the game. Only difference is, uh, this guy isn't immune to death. So you keep spamming your chainsaw or that move right there and you'll be out of this mess before you know it. Your war for that hard fight is the Dragon Claw. Anyway, we got that insect out of the way. Let's get this man eater. Give me that. Thank you very much. Going up here. 
and make sure that you save the game before doing this. If for some reason, if for some completely illogical reason you haven't learned the level 2 fire spell by now, you might want to do that. And let's do this. It's boss time. Talk to the statue. Here lies Daryl. <laughs> I didn't say that right. Who gives a fuck? Unless uh, you, you share this woman's name. Alright, here we have our boss, Dula Hyun. Is this the ghost of, of that chick or something? This thing always does this uh, level holy thing first. And when I did a practice run, this thing did not hit me. Of course, I'm doing the LP, so it completely fucked me over. Anyway, Kira. Blizzard God. Now, this is really going to hurt. Look at that shit. That actually hurts for this point in the game. A good strategy might be to have sellers use um runic. Time it right. But I real in all honesty, I don't have time for that. I just don't. Most of the damage comes from sellers, but she's spending too much time healing. Alright. There's a more safe, nice, very nice, but your magic sucks, unfortunately. There's a safe way to do this. Okay, how, what, what the fuck is the world coming to when a undead monster can use holy? This is an outrage. Okay, sets it down for the count. Not that I need him for this fight. But every extra damage does help, of course. Okay. Now, he wasn't... He wasn't doing this, this uh, holy spell in my practice run in this game. And I need Edgar to be attacking with Chainsaw, really. I really need Edgar to be attacking. Shinko Adukin! That doesn't hurt that much. This will. Okay, I wonder if this best is counter-attacking. It's like every time I attack him, he counter-attacks. Oh, I forgot. He, he can heal himself. Isn't that very nice? I'm not picking up a uh, sister because I don't have I don't have time to do that. I need fuck. Look at that shit. Morning star. The hell is that? I don't recall seeing that attack before. I really don't recall seeing that attack before. Last time in my practice run, I, I killed him so fast, he never had a chance to use that shit. Whatever the fuck it is, it's obviously some kind of overpowered physical attack that he does as he gets close to the death. Well, he's already dead, apparently, but there he goes. Now, go back to hell, whatever the fuck you are. Once again, I didn't um, pick up Sester because that would have gave him more time to attack me. He probably would have wiped me out with those damn holy spells and stuff. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. That's actually a pretty hard boss at this point in the game, considering uh, who your party is, but it's all good. Just attack him while keeping up your health and you'll be okay. The door opens and I get a random encounter two seconds after beating the boss. Alright, continuing. I almost dozed off there. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. And I'm playing video games. Alright. With this out of the way, we got quite a lengthy cutscene here. We're not a cutscene, it's rather a flashback. Bringing, being here brings back all kinds of memories and all that shenanigans. You can't run here, sadly. That that image up top is actually his uh, his memories. He's talking to some kind of beautiful looking woman apparently. Watch your step. I said, "What's she happy to be? You're taking the falcon and all that shenanigans." Oh, you can't be serious. When I take the falcon from you, it'd be because I left you a mile behind the race. Until then, I'm not letting you out of my sight, baby. Yeah, because I love you and all the shenanigans. Okay, this is a, like I said, this is kind of a lengthy cutscene, so I'll just go ahead and explain myself. 
basically this uh this uh chick is his his airship pilot friend or something they both built a airship and they had a contest to see which one had the better airship so they had a little race and apparently she won the race she left him so far in the dust that he never saw her again because she had she had some kind of accident and she ended up dying and stuff okay Ah, uh, there's really nothing like flying. How long are you planning on staying back there? Are you gonna aren't you gonna try to pass me? Or are you too entraced by my lovely behind? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original version. I don't think she's talking about the behind of the airship. I don't think she's talking about the behind of the airship. She's talking about her behind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original translation of this on Super Nintendo and PlayStation, was it? I wonder what they put there on the on the original version. Incredible. And can you possibly see her behind from that far away? You got some good eyes, dude. Be back by sunset or I'll be wait be back by sunset, I'll be waiting for you on the hill. So basically, she's going out to fly around, and they they agree to meet at some kind of special love hill. Isn't that the same place where Celis tried to commit suicide if Sid dies or something? I don't know. But unfortunately, your love never returned, and all that stuff. It was a year later when I found the wreck of the Falcon in a distant valley. I stole the ship and put it to rest down here. So this is the Falcon? No, it's not the Falcon. Okay. I can't very well be the world's fastest pilot if I don't even own if I can't even fly. I need your help. Falcon. We fly again! And stuff like that. Yay, we got a brand new airship with this thing. We can, might actually have a chance. Now we, able to get, now we can get to Kefka's Tower. If we land up there, we should be able to launch an assault. And we'll be able to find our friends. Right, first things first. On 5 Star Fever, we have a little bit of hope in this stuff. You can do this with only three people. That bird, could it be? Sister, follow that pigeon. Why? I'm not sure, but Sutter tells me it knows where our friends are and stuff like that. Okay. Now this, in my opinion, is the absolute best part of the game. Solely because of the music. It's called Searching for Friends. Everybody loves this soundtrack. I love it too. However... Before you do anything, before you do anything, you land this shit right now. You fucking land the ship and you save the game. Don't do a thing until you land this ship and save the game. Now then, do you know why? That's why. How the hell could I have possibly forgot to add this to my top 10 what the fuck moments in Final Fantasy? Who the fuck came up with this idea to make you encounter a monster while you're on the airship? Who the fuck came up with this idea? I can't believe I forgot to add this to my top 10 Final Fantasy 
What the fuck moments? Why did I not add this there? How could I have possibly forgotten this? Anyway guys, I can indeed beat this monster later on, but as you can see, as I am right now, I simply just have no chance in hell of beating him. So I will deal with this guy later. On the next episode, we are going to search for our friends. See you later. Take it easy.